Hello everyone, Hedgedog here and welcome to Kerbal Space Program Realism Overhaul. This is what I'm doing. I'm starting a brand new series with Realism Overhaul, Real Solar System, and Realistic Progression Zero, RP0. I love this combination. Obviously it's got a ton of mods built in to this just huge endeavor. First I just want to say thank you to all the modders who've been working super hard for a very long time to make this happen. I love this mod. I played it way back in 113 and it was amazing. It crashed I think after every second attempt but it was an amazing experience and I want to try again. And I hear that 122 is extremely stable on realistic um, on realism overhaul and we're gonna try it. So I'm just going to start a brand new game I'm going to call it Launchpad to Heaven. This will be my series name. Of course, change the flag. And I'm going to leave almost everything on the default settings except for missing crew respawn. Uh, there will be, I'm not sure because uh, KCT, uh, Kerbal Construction Time kind of takes over all these things. Uh, I definitely don't want the Kerbal Network activated because I have. Uh, remote tech enabled, uh, Kerbal Experience, I want them to level up immediately, and I think that's enough for me. So let's accept, I'm going to leave all the heating and everything on default, I have deadly re-entry and all that, so let's get started. Okay, so here we are, welcome to the Space Center, yes, thank you. The presets for remote tech... Okay, so I think the presets are okay, we're not going to get too far into space, so I'm not sure. I don't think it's going to be a problem uh, just starting out. We'll see. We'll see. If it gets if it gets too much of a problem, then we'll change some things around. Okay. So let's choose a preset for global construction time. We're using RP0. Save. And we'll spend our upgrades. Now, there's a little trick that you can use here. Instead of launching from the... Uh, vehicle assembly building you can launch rockets from uh, the runway and then you can also launch planes from the runway that's a neat little trick um, but I'm actually not going to use it I don't like planes I don't think I'll be flying too many planes so let's just let's just skip that yeah so I'm gonna bring this up to I think six and we're also gonna need a lot of R&D Okay, so let's take a look at our contracts. Okay, so obviously, first flight. Yep, and pass the Karma line on crude. That should be easy enough. Okay, let's take just a little look at our tree. This tech tree is insane. It's amazing. It's it, I'm never going to unlock all this. Like this is completely ridiculous. Like. Okay, also missing some parts, apparently. Hmm, might find those later. Okay, see, like things like this. Just really far. Wow, this whole top tier of the tech tree is just completely missing. Hmm, I need to find out where it is. Okay, a bunch of things. Anyway, we'll, we might get there one day. We'll see. All right, so we got the contracts. Let's assemble. So with uh, realism overhaul, the design process is ridiculous. Like it's going to take forever. I'm not going to show everything I do. So uh, I will for this one, I think, because it's the first tiny little thing. Kind of gives you a bit of an idea. I'm not going to go too much into detail of how this works. Um, you want to know just ask questions but uh, for the most part realism overhaul just completely overhauls the game to a ridiculous point um, just everything goes completely insane it's completely different and you really need to know a lot of things about what's going on here and just explaining all of it is going to take ages so I'm not really going to do that Uh, but if you want to know, you can always message me, and I'll let you know what I did, and why I did it. 
Alright, so right now I'm just building a very, very simple rocket. Um, a sounding rocket, something that's going to go into space. Um, it's just barely going to make it into space. But that should be enough for fulfilling both of our first contracts and getting us quite a bit of science on our way. Uh, it's really going to kickstart our career. So we need little fins so this thing doesn't go completely crazy. I'm going to make them smaller. I think, nope, I think 75% is good. Yes. Let's bring them down just a hair. Good. And of course, any structural power. Just one, thank you. This is good. Okay, now of course we want science. Can't forget the science. I'm just going to very carefully balance these things. I'm going to actually stick them on... No, I'll, I'll put them down here, right on the line. That should keep this pretty balanced. That looks pretty good. And we need antennas, or else we're not going to be able to communicate. These nice little Sputnik. And we're good. This is our first rocket. Super easy, super simple. Actually, we can make it a little bit better, I think. Can I... Do I have an extra engine? I do. Tiny Tim. Yes. So this will give me just an extra little bit of Delta V. And let's flip them. And I'm going to call this... And wow, one. It's a sounding rocket. This is after the wow signal. It's just wow, one. Save it. How much delta V does this thing have? Let's take a look. I don't need the avionics warnings. Of course, this is not going to be controllable. And this thing has about... Okay, 315 meters per second. That's, that's not bad. We can work with that. Okay, so actually let's simulate. Simulation is only going to cost nothing. Oh, it's going to cost 6.2. All right, let's take it. Okay, so actually I was forced to skip the simulation um, because it turns out it was way too dark and in the simulations you can't turn the camera and you can't change any settings. So it was just pitch black. I ran a couple of simulations just to make sure things work. I added a decoupler and now we're going to launch it. Add it to the build list. Great. So let's fast forward time. Let's roll out to the launch pad. Okay, and now let's roll to daylight. There we go. We want daylight. All right, let's launch. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, launch of the very first sounding rocket of our space program. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's where do you have an accomplishment? Oh, well, it's just telling me that we've completed the building. And I think we can just go. Let's launch this thing. We already have a whole bunch of science we can send. And here we go. Terrific. We are going to space. So this thing is completely uncontrollable. It's just flying up by itself. We're going to see how high it's going to go. It should cross the Kármán line, which is 100 kilometers. And it should actually make it to space, which is 140 kilometers. And yeah, I think we can just wait and see how far it goes and get all the science that we can in the process. 
All right, so as you might have noticed, we've run out of fuel and we, our epoapse is 184 kilometers, which is awesome. And now we're in space. So it's the very first sounding rocket for our space program. It's already up in space. It's almost at epoapse now. It's incredible. Look at all this stuff that we're getting, um, all the uncrewed speed records, the altitude records. Uh, we're getting another biome now which is awesome and uh, even a little more science data from that so this is an extremely successful mission and you might have noticed there are no parachutes on this thing it's not designed to be recovered at all this thing is supposed to crash and burn and to do it right now awesome that worked really really well Let's recover this, and yeah, we got 42 science. That's that's insane. That's a ridiculous amount. Like, like ridiculous, ridiculous. All right, so this is me just kind of looking around the nodes and trying to decide what I want to take next. And you don't want to sit here and listen to me babbling about the things I like and don't like. Uh, what you would want to know is that I'm going to be skipping pretty much the plane parts of the game because I don't like I don't like planes in Kerbal Space Program. It's the Kerbal Space Program, not the Kerbal Aeronautics Program. So this is what I went with. Great. So for now, let's see. Do I have more funds? Yes. I'm going to stick all of it into science and. Let's see, whoops, tech, there we go. So yeah, 182 days to unlock early avionics. So that's going to take quite a bit of time. Let's see if we have some more little contracts that we can do in the meantime. How hard, how high do you want me to, whoa, okay, 440 kilometers. Though we're not getting there just yet. Crude sound barrier, no, I don't like any of these, okay. So instead, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to reuse WoW, and we're just going to send it off to the water this time. So all we got to do is just give this the tiniest little nudge there. I think that should be enough. Maybe just a tiny 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 bit more there we go okay save this let's build it and let's ship it to the water we get a little bit more signs from sending it to a different biome so let's warp to reconditioning we can warp to complete Let's roll it out. And we still got plenty of sunlight. So let's launch. Okay, here we go. Okay, I think I might have given this bit too much of an angle. I was afraid that it wouldn't be enough, but I think this is way too much. This is going to fly straight into the water. Recover? What's there to recover? What? What's here? Oh, okay. Not sure there was anything to recover. So let's do this again. We still have 170 days for early avionics. Just going to shoot this rocket one more time. 
This time I'm going to give it not nearly as much of an angle. Okay, here we go. Alright. Okay, this looks much better. Alright, so we're going up, 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 and you can see that we're still getting a bit too much of an angle. So, this thing is not going to be able to go to space. It is going to get me the high altitude data, which is, I, I guess it's enough, right? We're, we're going to be in space over the water at one point, hopefully very soon. It's not that big of a deal. Um, we're not going to be doing any more of these little sounding rockets, I think. I think this one is going to be uh, as much as we're going to get. Uh, we're going to build a bigger one, obviously. We want to get some higher altitude data and maybe head over to some other biome. But these little ones, I think that's pretty much what we're going to be using. So let's watch it re-enter. So long, probe. Actually, not a probe, of course. It's a sounding rocket. I'm not sure this one would technically be considered a sounding rocket since it didn't make it into space, but still, is the idea. Okay, so I think we're going to end our episode right here. It's a little bit on the short side, but uh, in the next one, we're already starting to build some new rockets, so I think this is a great place to stop. I hope you liked this episode. There are going to be more in this series. I hope you like it, and if you do, you can click the like button. Hit subscribe to my channel and you'll know when the next videos come up. And I'll catch you in the next one.